great you're here tonight. Thanks for being here. And I know it's largely also because you really believe in Childline. No, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Um, and it, it's through it's through Caroline Downey, uh, my manager, who does yeah. a lot of work mm -hmm. with, with Childline, and, and that I began to do a bit more work with it. Um, something that that I always think is, I suppose is quite unquantifiable is the legacy of mm. of an abusive childhood or, or mm. a difficult yeah. childhood. It's something that stays with somebody for their whole life, and it's something that affects all of society. I suppose it's something that that they will take with them into Absolutely. their relationships moving forward and and. The, the children that they might have also and it's very hard to know where, where, that, where the legacy of that ends and a child having somebody to speak to or having access to therapy early on is, uh, is, is I suppose immeasurable you know. Because Caroline I found it really astonishing that so many children are mm. ringing up Childline right now since the schools closed yeah. because they're so upset or in very difficult circumstances. Yeah, I mean, Childline has always been busy. I don't think we've ever had a quiet day. But we have noticed a massive increase, particularly since COVID-19 started and when the schools closed. So initially there was a 20% surge and we thought, wow, there's children are really worried here. Children yeah. are really anxious. But since St. Patrick's Day, so from your birthday onwards, there has been a close to 60% increase in our online-based services. And when we're talking to children online and asking them, you know, how they're doing, they're contacting us online because they don't want to be overheard. So when they were ringing us on the phone, they were afraid that somebody would hear them. And look, we know that this is impacting on children all over the country. We're nervous ourselves about what's happening. There's levels of anxiety across the country. But you place that on a 10-year-old or a 12-year-old or a 15-year-old, and that weight can sometimes be insurmountable. And then put that weight on a child who's in a domestic violence scenario. Mm. A child who's being sexually abused, physically abused, emotionally abused. And they're living in that fear. And when you consider that these children were living in that two months ago or three months ago, they were able to leave that home and go to school, yeah. get breakfast in a breakfast club, go to an after school club. That was their sanctuary. But now there is no sanctuary. They're in this environment and it's incredibly difficult. And thankfully, Chiline is there to support them.